Hey, welcome back, everybody. We are back for another episode of streaming. <laughs> I don't know why I said episode. I think because I was watching something else on YouTube earlier, so I was just like, oh, that's in my mind. But we're playing some more Blue Eye Control today. Um, I don't know why I ever abandoned the comfort of my baby Blue White Control. Um, but that's what we'll be playing today. Uh, I'm taking this list. I tweaked it a little bit from Oscar Franco. On they went 5 0 on uh MTG online, so congrats to them. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So, I believe the only changes I made were they had three mana leaks, and I changed one of those to a spell snare, and they had three cryptic commands, and I added in another Archmage's charm. But the rest of the list should be pretty similar. Oh, uh, they had Celestial Colony as well, and I think Colony is a little bit slow, although. I guess it's fine, but I also, uh, instead of the colonnades, I decided to play both castles, Castle Vantress and Castle Ardenvale. Um, that's a different utility land. Uh, Castle good against control decks. Well, bo they actually both are. Uh, Castle put some pressure on them. It gives us something to do with our mana. Um, we also have their four Field of Ruins. They also had four. And the only things I changed was, like, one of the polluted deltas is a Misty Rainforest, which doesn't really matter because your fetches just need to be blue. I guess Budded Strand matters, but the rest of it should be pretty similar. Oh, the sideboard also changed. I believe I added in Celestial Purges. They had, I can't remember exactly. Let me actually pull it up right here. Oh, they had Spell Quellers, and I wasn't sure if I liked that. They also had uh, Mystical Dispute, which I've not, I like the card. I just, I don't know. I just. I don't really know when I'm supposed to put them in, so I'd rather put in a card I know how to play as opposed to a card I don't really know how to play. Um, I'm sure if somebody were to leave me something in the comments to let me know, I would happily play them in the board. Um, but instead we're playing, I believe it's two extra Dovin's Vetoes. Yeah, okay, so that was that was the thing. They had to settle the wreckage, they had two Spell Quellers and two Mystical Disputes. Uh, so I ended up changing it to three Celestial Purges and two Dovin's Widows. Um, <clears throat> I think if you're going to try to play a counter spell instead of Mystical Dispute, I would just play Dovin's Vito, as also including that I don't know how to play with Mystical Dispute. Um, but yeah, we're just going to run this through the league. We're trying to get our 5-0. Hopefully we'll get there. We got pretty stomped yesterday with a taking turns list that just didn't end up working out too well. Um... But yeah, we're just going to join up a queue here, or a league, so y'all can see the, see the deck list here. I added in new uh, rewards here. Let me see. Well, what are the new rewards? You can pay off your Cocoa Bucks taxes since it's tax season. It does literally nothing, but you can, you're welcome to try it. Um, let me see. Yeah, hand is D, so I can opt turn one. Mana leak. Yeah, we're fine. <clears throat> Normally, in the other list, I wouldn't want to opt turn one, or I'm less incentivized to, because we have, um, Terminus in the deck. Okay, we've got Amulet. We're probably playing against Titan. Glacial Fortress. I think I need some interaction. I guess I have Vendillion Click. This is fine. Oh, and I got a JTMS. Okay, so we're gonna curve out pretty well, hopefully. I can use Click to pick out whatever card is in their hand. Like, if they have a Titan, I can just flop it out. I really should take this thing off on the bottom. Oh, nothing? Alright. Well, that's fine with me. Shark Typhoon is cool as well. I can also cycle this to put some pressure on them. But I think I'd rather just mana or uh, Vendillion click if they don't do anything. I want to see what's in their hand. See what I want to play next turn.
What? So I'm going to put away Primeval Titan just because they're going to have to use Summoner's Pact. Or I can just leave this in their hand. Would I rather just give them a random card? How's my uwu control? It's doing okay. I mean, I usually do okay with it. Now that I've been like playing other decks, I've been doing pretty terribly. I kind of want to leave what's in their hand. Just because we have Jace. And we can go Jace uptick and see what's in there. Yeah. Let's leave it all in there. I can use Archmage's Charm to steal their land. So what do they do next turn? If on their turn they can go Pact or a Dryad, play the Dryad, play a land, bounce it, they have... Yeah, they still wouldn't have enough mana. So I'm going to go ahead and jam Jace here. Yeah, I'll leave that on top. Also, hi, Black Sheep. Welcome. Summoner's Pact. Okay. Playing Azusa. Sure. Oh, I guess that's something they could have pulled. I'm dumb. You have to pay their pack next turn. They have both Stimic Chambers on the field. Wow, I just punted, like, super hard. I totally forgot about Azusa. I've been playing around so many, uh... What's that card? The Dryad, that I totally forgot about it. Yeah, I'm gonna scoop it up. Wow, that was so dumb. That was such a punt. I want to put Ashiok in here. And Aethergust, and I think that's it. I could also put in Dovin's Vetoes. I don't think I need Force in this matchup. Or Timelies. That's one of the weird things about this list is that it has a uh, timely reinforcements, but there's a lot of monastery swift spear decks running around. Oh, spell snare is really bad. I just play these. And um, supreme verdict. Yeah, I think the rest of this is fine. I could see pulling out the beetles for force. But they also bring things like Pact. Dan was talking about possibly going on vacation, but like, where are we gonna go? Do they ever expire? Yes. Yeah. 
90 hours active. You have what? 90, 90 hours, hours of, of protected. protected sick time. All right. Yes, I would like to play first. Let's try not to punt again. I was. I feel like it was in such a good spot, and I just messed up like a dumb. All right, Hollow Fountain tapped. Teferi. I'm just going to get an island, so in case I draw a another blue source, I can play Archmage's Charm. And I'll just draw a card here. Okay. I'll just go what? Um, they have one, two, three, four mana. I think I just bounce with Jace. Wow, they just have Primal Titan. Okay. Feels bad. Yeah, if I had mana for Archimedes Storm, I would have just held it up, but... Going for the chase, okay. They try to hit a path, and even that is going to be pretty difficult to deal with. I mean, if they don't have anything else, then fine. It's good, but...
Pet and Explorer, okay. I was just gonna get alright, we're just dead. I mean I guess we'll go through one more draw step. We can hit like Supreme Verdict. Cryptic is not helping us here. Jeez. Wow, that game one was such a punt. Alright, we'll go to the game, the next one. Yeah, like having tapped out really hurt us. Or just even just a plus or minusing the Teferi there, because we could have just bounced the Dryad and then landed Jace. Or had Jace brainstorm or plus if we needed to. And run the draw. I think I want a little more interaction, so I'm going to mulligan. Ugh. Triple path that we can't cast. I think having the op makes this better, but I'm not sure if it's a keep. We also have spell snare. We put away a path. We get one draw step. Our opponent also mulliganed. I'm just going to mulligan. Uh, this is rough. I don't want to go lower than this. I'm going to keep bottom and I guess a cryptic. Put away the chase. Go opt. Give me the land. We got another spell snare, okay. We're gonna be playing against uh, Heliod so I can spell snare if they play Eldamari's call. And I'm not gonna crack the fetch. Or oh, actually, I have Shark Typhoon I can cycle. Heliod, okay. Cycle for zero because I really want to hit a land. Okay, that's unfortunate that it's a plains, but I guess I'll take it. I don't actually think I can try to land the Jace here. I might have to use Snapcaster to opt. I can use this Condemn to put away the Heliod. If they uh, push this up. Sure. Bike feeder.
So that path end would have been pretty nice. I'm gonna fetch for a uh, hollow fountain here. Go snap opt. Yeah, they can do this as long as they like. We don't really win with damage. Six here. Oh, did they hit? Oh, did they hit a threshold? Are they done? Oh, okay. We're starting to get there. The fact that I also have Condemn in hand is, is kind of funny. Like, I can just bounce the Oriok Champion and hold up Condemn and feel P good. Oh. Wow, they actually did that. Um, I'm just going to Teferi Bounce, I think. I could also use Jace, right? And hold up Spell Snare. I think I'm just gonna play this Jace. I should have kept the the thing here, but it's too late. Yeah, Jace bounce isn't so bad, but I lose my fetch. I'm just gonna bounce, and I'm just gonna really give it to them, and just wait. You know what? If they end up getting like four devotion or something, I'm gonna feel bad. I was like, what are you doing? Oh, that sucks. They have Skyclave Apparition. Field of Ruin. It's very... Do I plus or minus? I could ask you to minus on the snap. I'm gonna plus here for now. I could also bounce the Heliod. But I kind of want them to play the Oriok champion and then I can condemn the, the Heliod. Ranger Captain, that's fine too. Arbor Elf, okay. Ooh, get him, boy. Look at that. Getting some more life. I don't care. You're fine. Okay. 
Electric Company or Holy shit. <laughs> Okay, that's I'm sure they play plenty of basics. I'm gonna bounce here. Okay. They still have the Oriac champion in hand. But I don't think I really care for it. I don't think I want to spell snare. Yeah, I think it's fine. I don't really mind. Sure, there's the Arbor Elf. Okay, another one. Blow up their lands. Okay. Pass. They've got what, eight mana here? Three, four, five, seven mana? Okay. Cast a ballista for one, come on! Beautiful. That's what I wanted. That's what I wanted. Give him one of those Bruh. moments.
I wonder if they have more creatures than me and more life than me. I'm just gonna that shit point. Path to Exile, okay, that's a good one, because I can path the Heliod. Let's go ahead and get a little more uh little more cushion here. And then just path the Heliod. So they're not getting more um counters. Because that would have been, what, six counters? Because, oh no, that would have been seven, right? Or, jeez, I don't know how to math. Each one is worth three. They would have got nine counters. Come on, give me something I can spell snare. Oh, it's not. More Oriac champions, okay. This is also game one, and my opponent's running out of time. Okay. The fairy. Mana leak, that's not good. Is it just me or does anybody else think that this has first strike? It looks like it has first strike. Sure. Oh, if they cast it here, it's going to feel so good if we can mana leak it. They could have attacked with this. I wouldn't have blocked. But okay. Base. Brainstorm. Oh, we got a Supreme Verdict and a Safari. Okay, so I definitely want a Verdict here, right? And I think I want to hold a Path. So I think I put away Mana Leak into Fairy. Because I want to have the option to play Spell Snare or Mana Leak. Or uh, uh, Path. But one. Two. I guess I can't play path, but it's fine. And I have to do it right now because they can just activate this. So. All right. So I know they have Ballista in hand, right? Sure. Yeah, that's fine. And now I know I have Teferi coming up, plus a Mana Leak. I think I'm going to spell snare this. Because the last card they have is Walking Ballista. And I have an answer to. Um, 
poet? Because they're probably hard casting Ballista for like the most that they can, right? All right. Getting in through the punts. Yeah, they got to design more cards like Skyclave Apparition because it's a good card, but it's not oppressive. I think it's a really fun card. Another cryptic, okay. Start spamming good games here. Good game, good game, good game. Yeah, like I don't need to do anything here anymore. I guess I could just pass the thing here, but force. Think you were supposed to pass that? Yeah. Build up to path and left over. Yeah. Right, let's just do it. Just start beating face with a 4 4 as well. I don't even think I go to combat anymore because I'm not winning that way. Oh, we have a Castle Ardenville? Okay, sick. On their draw step, I can. Vendillion click. Draw step, click. Them. Oh, I'll just leave their hand as is. All right, yeah, I'll just leave it. Heliod? Uh, sure, they can play that and I don't really care. I also just tuck it. Yeah. All right, let's plus. Okay, one, two, three. Draw.
Sure. I'm not even going to go through combat here. I guess technically I don't win that way. Well, I can still win that way. It's fine. Just gonna eat the clock here. Okay. Uh, I definitely want Aether Gust. How good is Ashok in this matchup? I don't think it is. Belsner is very good. Condemn we saw was very good as well. Force is... Force is okay. It doesn't really hit their counter spells. It hurts, hits their uh, fetches. So I think we can put a couple away. Um, these also whatever. I think I can just play a force instead of that. It was fine there, but not really what I'm trying to do. Yeah, this seems okay. I was like, what are you doing? I'm giving myself headache here. Okay. Help you? Okay. Okay. I'm gonna keep. Spell snare in hand, it's pretty good. I'm not Twitter. I am on Twitter. With your toe beans. The reason I didn't play Opt is because I don't really know what I want yet. Sure. Up here. I don't think I want this. You what? I go to fairy bounce here. Of charm. Can try to land it again? Oh, sure. I don't think I land that though, do I? I could plus. Play Teferi plus 
have spell strength spell snare up Or I can just use the Shark Typhoon to cycle for two at the end of their turn. I think I like that better. Sure. Okay. I'm just going to cycle for two here. It's a fairy. Bounce a Heliod. Now I have double spell snare up or path to exile and spell snare. Sure. Yeah, I'm going to spell center this because I don't want them to be able to give lifelink to their thing and then start buffing up their creature. You just want to feel to ruin their can canopy so they don't draw an extra card. Go field, shoot, get an island. I have Archmage's Charm and spell snare up. Because right now I can only cast spells, uh, Archmage's Charm or Spell Snare. So I don't actually hate this. Selected company. I'll carry this. Same thing here. I'll do it on your draw step. I should have done it then. Oops, wrong one. Oh, actually, no, I do it now because I can crack it. I'm so. I don't know what I'm doing.
Veil of Summer. If they have Ballista here, am I just dead? I think I could still counter, and if they choose to use Ballista... Yeah, because otherwise I can't do anything at all, right? Except Path. Yeah, sick. Okay, so they're gonna give it lifelink. I can just path here. I think it's fine. Where do I want to go on vacation for two weeks? Is that what you said? I don't know. Now they're just gonna try to beat me beat me down, beat my face. They're going for the aggro plan. You can do whatever you want. Okay, they have infinite life. Come on, Supreme Verdict off the top. Oh, Snapcaster Mage? What does that give us? That gives us Snap Path? Or Snap Charm? We'll wait to see what they do. I think I'm going to go for the snap path plan here. Because I get to get rid of the Teferi. And I guess if they draw a walking ballista here, then we can... I can't do anything about this. I mean, I could do this, but... Mentor, sure. attacker so I'm gonna go snapcaster go to blocks And then I path in it. They can make something infinitely huge with this mentor, right? Put counters, put a bunch on there. I just path here. They do it again.
And I get to keep the snap if they don't do anything? Okay, they're just gonna trade? Sure, that's fine. Okay. Okay. Bounces. Alright, well, they're gonna lose to time here. And don't get me wrong, I would concede if I was dead, but I'm not. Put leak and it's on top. Like, if they rip Ballista here, I would just scoop, but... All right, now I feel like I can start plusing with the Jace. A plus that on top. Yeah, I was like, it's actually just bad time to. It's like a waste of time to be casting these cards, so I can just plus. Anyway, we got there. Uh, I think the first game we messed up a couple times. Uh, but we did not end up getting punished. I need to learn how to play Hider. Uh, a lot of my plays are kind of loose. I feel like I don't think about everything before I do them. Uh, but let's go ahead and play into the next one.
That was game two as well, right? I didn't see a single Eldamari's call. Have these lists stopped running them? Because I feel like they're pretty good in the list, but I'm not sure. Alright, join the match here. a little bit awkward but i have an opt and i have creature removal at least attacking ones <laughs> wow i haven't played against this in a while okay this only targets instants or sorceries right yeah that's pretty funny yeah it's been a very long time since i've played against spirits I might actually just condemn this. Just because I have the uh, Emily reinforcement in hand. But that might be a better counter. No, I think actually I can play Timely and then bounce this. Because Teferi is just so bad for them. Oh, actually I can't. Because it says Pex Proof. Okay. I mean, that's fine. I couldn't have countered this anyway. I think I'm going to still hold back. I'll play Vendillion Click and uh, look at their hand and see what I want to do. Because I might just play Teferi. And uh, hold up Condemn. That's fine. If they play main, main deck Mystical Dispute, I'm gonna... Skyclave Apparition is actually a card I do not want to see, right? Because they can just take my Teferi. Yeah, let's put that away. I can play Teferi. And then minus and just eat the thing here. Okay. 
God, I remember why I hated this deck. This freaking Spell Queller. What an annoying card. I can just play Timely here. Yeah, I don't mind that. Oh my god. I don't know why I was going to cast that. Oh, it resolved? Okay. I thought they might have had something. That's really annoying. Now I need a Wrath, because I can't actually target their creatures. Archmage's Charm. It's not really doing anything for me, but I can go Cryptic Tap Draw. I'm actually dead, right? I guess not yet. I mean, if they have another Muslim Wonder in hand, I'm just dead anyway. Okay. Like eight? I go Snapcaster, Timely Reinforcements, 4, 8, 9, 10, 11. I just go to 7. Yeah, I'm just dead. Go Snap. Yeah. Okay. Alrighty. The fact that they had the third captain was kind of what got us. I don't really have too much of a sideboard here against this deck. Put away the forces because those don't feel as good. Keeping one is fine. I don't want Aether Gust. Force Negation is pretty bad, right? Like, do I just play Narset? As a way to get more cards? Maybe. His best case scenario for Force Negation is I pitch to hit a uh, Aether Vial. I think I'll just play Narset.
I have a spell snare to fairy shark typhoon. I'm gonna keep this. The fairy's a pretty good card against them. And having spell snare shark typhoon is also pretty good. I just need to hit the land. Okay. Okay, and I think I'm okay with just Teferi Bounce here. Then I can just plus to protect Teferi and I have Shark Typhoon. Okay. Condemn here is also very nice. I'm just gonna cycle this, uh, man, do you hear me stutter there? Jeez. Or I can go snap... Condemn? Yeah, I'm gonna do that. If they want to counter it, they're more than welcome to. Okay. Okay. All right, I'm going to go ahead and snap Spell Snare. Hmm. Go opt here. I think I need to hit the land. All right. Okay, take six. Solid Fountain. I'm just gonna crack to hit their Flooded Strand.
Well, that's pretty good. You got rattle chains here. Do I care about this? Really? Four, four. And if I get the chance to block, I'll block the actual captain. Because if I hit a path, I can just um, target it and they won't get the land. Oh, they have another one. That's shitty. I need a uh, Supreme Verdict. Three, six, ten. Yeah, I'm just here. Because playing timely doesn't do anything. Yeah. Oh well. That was kind of rough. Having three captains every game is was definitely uh, hard to fight against when I don't have a wrath. So I don't feel too bad about that one. I think I played played it pretty well. There might have been some decisions we didn't make right, but I felt good about it. I didn't feel like I just straight up punted. Oh my god. We're gonna have to go and you know, no you know they can't talking? hear every the camp the mic doesn't pick everything yes, up. It does. it does not. It only picks up some of what you say. Sir, Yeah, Spirits and Modern, I've not seen that in a while. It's been a minute. The spear, okay. This is why we play main deck timelies. I'm gonna play the castle first because it comes in tapped. Then I can hold up mana leak. I might just pitch this uh Vendillion click because this is a terrible blocker. Whoa, Abbott, interesting. That's a card that gets played in Pioneer. That's a new one for me. Is it 
Is our opponent okay? Did they just jam a pioneer deck into modern? Okay. I could just pitch this. That's nine damage, that's half my life total. Don't tell me they're playing Hellrider. Oh, Shadow Skull Smashing? Sure. I'm going to take the 5 here. I path to Exile and I can block this on a later turn. Firebolt, targeting the soldier. I'm gonna pass Abbot here. Wow, this sucks. Play Teferi here, and... I don't really want to give them back Season Pyromancer to let them draw more gas. I'm just going to bounce the Swift Spear. To draw another card. At least you have a lot of sideboard card against them. Blood Moon? Sure. That's actually GG's, right? Yeah, okay, well, at least we've got a lot against them. We've got Celestial Purges, Timely Reinforcements, Aether Gust. Rest in Peace is also a possibility. How good is Spell Center against them? I don't think it was very good. What is our win con against them, honestly? Click is pretty bad. Just dies to everything. And I guess snaps as well, but they at least give me a little something. Do I want force in this matchup? When I'm adding in so many cards that uh deal with theirs? I don't know if I do.
I guess it stops things like, uh, oh, I don't want an artifact. Yeah, Crypto command might be a bit too slow. Teferi's also kind of weak. I mean, Jace is also, um, Jace gets bolted. Hard to stick around. And I could take a couple, a couple of these and add in like one force. Because I still need to try to win. I can't just put nothing but answers in my deck. Alright, we'll keep this. I'm gonna fetch for a hollowed fountain here. And I know they have Blood Moon, but can't really afford to play around it here. Now I can start fetching the basics. an island. We got a timely, that's cool. Just play Jace here, or uh, Teferi and Plus. They play Season Pyromancer, so I can go Snapcaster Path. Targeting me, okay, that's fine. Damn, okay. I'm gonna try to hard cast this force on something. Five for what? What? What do they have a glory bringer here? Oh, shadow skull smashing. Sure, that is something I can force. What do they mean to cast? Oh. They snap here. Flash it back. I can also do something really sick and bounce my Snapcaster. Play Timely Reinforcements. Get a White Source here.
If they attack, I'll triple block. If they bolt, I'll condemn. Interesting. They're just hitting me? They can't react to this because I have Teferi. Like a bad play. Okay. Oh, sure. He's Castle Ventress here. Or let me actually start creating tokens and start fighting back. Oh, Shark Typhoon's pretty good. Really speeds up the clock. If I don't skip through my combat step. They have another firebolt in the yard. So I might just use a snapcaster to uh have it, okay. Bolt, sure. Alright. Come on, shark. Yeah, that's fine. I'm gonna go Snapcaster. Timely reinforcements just to gain the life. Bounce my snap again. Six. I have mana leak up as well. Okay. Alright, that seemed fine enough. Hmm. On the play, do I want these Jaces? Give one for a click. Or Spell Snare. Like, I saw Abbott being played. I saw the Bone Crusher Giant. What is it? Stomp? The other side of it. Rest in Peace is also a consideration because it takes care of their uh, fire bolts, their lava darts, and um, 
seasoned pyromancers. But it's just a two mana kind of do nothing. I'm going to put Cryptics in instead of the Jaces. Oh, sorry. Um, This is kind of an awkward hand because I don't have anything I can cast. I need another island for Archmage's Charm, but Timely Reinforcements is just a lot of time being bought if we can cast it. This is a risky keep, though. That's not bad either. I'm going to play the island next turn. Yeah. They have what light up the stage? Whoa, they don't have anything? What the fuck? Blood Moon? Do I care? Kind of, yeah. With these? Yeah, I do. Did they just keep a hand hoping that Blood Moon would get there for them? Castle of Antris? Alright, I'll be able to counter their thing. I'm also at 17. I'm at a pretty good life total here. All right. That's fine with me. Full of white source here. Okay. Opt isn't bad either. Nice. It's gonna go ahead and play this timely now. Since I have Supreme Verdict, I feel pretty okay about just not doing anything. What are they have for five? We saw fire bolts in their hand. Oh, they can have um what's it called? Shatter skull smashing? Yeah. I figured it was something like this. And I'll just take the four. Hey Co Diamonds, what's going on, buddy? Yeah, I'll just take the damage here. Because I can just recast timely reinforcements. Blood Moon. Okay, let's go ahead and opt. Teferi's not going to be castable, so let's put this away. There's another one. I'm okay with triple blocking one. Run. 
okay. Firebolt, okay. I'll go ahead and take the damage. I've got a little bit of time, but I would like to draw something. Maybe I can hit a cryptic command to bounce the blood moon. Another island, okay. I only have two planes in the deck, so. They have a stop on their upkeep for some reason. Okay, I'm going to take the two again. Who's healing where? Barbank. Mana leak, okay. Well, did you see the mountains? There was snow, like, all over the tops. That's very cool. This is Death by a Thousand Cuts, yeah. Alright, at least I'll be able to counter this Bone Crusher. Yeah, opponent's drawing pretty hot, that's true. But... I mean, I think I start blocking now. I want to stay above 10. They're going to try to cast a Bone Crusher here. Yeah, that's sick. Alright. We need, like, a uh, Cryptic Command so I can go Counter Bounce or something. Or Planes. Oh, Shark Typhoon. That's so fucking good. Alright, sick. We might get there. Come on. Oh, we gotta believe. Firebolt. Firebolt me, firebolt me. Okay, yes, yes, that's okay. Wow, you're so good. GG's, GG's, GG's. Okay. Make a 6-6. Six, six. Oh, and we drew the planes. Oh my god, that's so good. Alright, our opponent drew hot, now it's our turn, right? That's how it works. It's only it's only fair. What happened? Are you okay? Okay, sweet. They're starting to hit lands. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. I don't even think I want to tuck this blood moon, right? I think I just want to draw. And we hit to fairy, okay. I'm gonna hold back the soldier. But we're doing so good here. Just plus how how the turntables. Okay, that's fine. I think I just yeah. Or I'm actually okay with taking the one here. Oh, we have Aether Gust too? Holy shit. Okay. Um. So I can go Teferi, bounce the Swift Spear, plus with Teferi. What does that get me? And then I can Aether Gust the Swift Spear? I think I like that plan.
I could also just tuck this. But I think I just want to draw. Let's go ahead and just bounce the Blood Moon. Oh, we have a Condemn. Okay. GG's. GG's, 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 GG's. Let me just spam. Okay. I think we're going to get there. Also, I could just use the Shark Typhoon, huh? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Make a 7, 7 and just kill them. Uh, I'm gonna Aether Gust that. Uh, no thank you. That was, that was some good stuff right there. That was some good, clean magic. Jesus. I was getting kind of nervous. I wasn't drawn too hot for a little bit, but once I hit that plains, it was all uphill for us. Jeez. So I don't know, is Rest in Peace a good enough card to sideboard against this? I don't... I'm not really sure, because I don't want a two-mana do-nothing. Like, what did I sideboard in? I put in Purges, I put in Timely Reinforcements, and Aether Gust. And then I think I left one Force Negation in the deck. I don't know, that was a pretty interesting game. Okay, let's cut into, I think this is the fifth and final match, right? Yeah, it is. This is for all the marbles. Hopefully, we can get that sweet, sweet win. Because I just have plain ones. I just asked Shannon if she thinks plain yeah. baked potatoes are healthy. Yeah, that was definitely a mulligan. I think I keep this and put away Supreme Verdict. Kind of the harder card to cast. But they keep you full for a while. Right? Yeah, because they're like, they grow anywhere, right? Like, that's one of the benefits to like eating. Do I condemn turn one? Um, I think I can actually condemn here. Potatoes are precious items. Wow, is that actually going to help me? Yeah. Alright, let's cycle. I really want to hit a land, so... I can't afford to just not use this. Alright. Do I want to click them on their draw step? I don't think so. I think I'd rather just block something. Sure. Alright. In island, they click, target them. I don't want anything that can hit my. Oh, they don't have anything. Wow, this is really good for me. I think I just go Jace. Because they don't have anything. Yeah, let's go Jace. Brainstorm.
Hold up forests. The fire eyelet, they're gonna crack it. Sure. And he's Boros Charm targeting me. I'm gonna go ahead and cast this. I know it's on top, so I'm just gonna fetch right away. Goblin guide, sure. I'm just gonna take this. Yeah, nice. Okay, so against this, I want purges, I want timely reinforcements, I think I want Aether Gust, I might even want Dovin's Vetoes. Spell snare is extra good here. I don't think I want verdicts or cryptics. Faces are also kind of whack. Why not wait for them to attack? Um, <coughs> I think. I mean, I guess I didn't know. Did I know whether they had monastery mentor in hand? I mean, I guess they would have just played it. You're right. Maybe I should have waited. That might have been a mistake. I don't really like Jace in these matchups. Condemn is another way to like gain life. I think I can actually put away a couple paths. Leaving one Jace, one Teferi, because I still need one cons. Hmm. Oh, Bendillion clicks really bad. I think Cryptic is just too slow. Maybe I actually want Dovin's Veto. There's another counter spell. And part of the reason I'm okay. I'm actually, I think I'm going to take out a uh, Path to Exile. Because I have three Celestial Purges, and that's more than most decks are running. Like, I, I think with the addition to Force Negation, this matchup has gotten so much better. Well, not like that, though. If this was an island, I might keep, because I have double Spell Snare, but... Yeah, I'm going to keep this. Put away... Castle Ardenvale. Because I'd rather have double blue than uh, double white. Also, that Condemn on one was pretty nice for us. Not gonna lie. I'm okay with opting here. Mana leak? I guess I'll keep that. Okay, skewer. That's a pretty good start for them.
I'm just going to leak this. Coral's charm? That's rough. Okay. I'm going to have to block that. Wow, that would have been nice last turn. All right, let me take that two damage. All right, timely off the top, come on. Helix. And a spell snare here. Oh, am I dead? Oh, okay. I'm just dead of this, right? Yeah. Okay, I guess. I still think this is fine. Verdict's on the play. No, I don't really like Verdict too much in this matchup. Like, usually when I play against this deck, I tend to be stuck with the fours in hand. Which is why I cut down on the Jaces as well. And like, even to Fairy is kind of rough. I guess I can pull this out. And add in one. Or even just add in path. Or cryptic. I'll put it on the play, that's fine. A like, Teferi isn't super great either. There's just a lot of this that's not. I just need to try to stabilize early. Okay, this is a sneep. Okay. Yeah, I can afford to take the hit here because I have Celestial Purge. I don't really like uh, doing it when they have and a mana leak. Cool. I might just purge now because they have Skewer the Critics. But depending on what they play here. Like if they play Adelon, yeah, I just snap leak this. I'd like to draw an opt so I can pitch to force. And since I have the time now, I'm going to use timely reinforcements. Uh, because they don't have mana up to skull crack me. And I'll just block with one here. Here. Oh, they're not attacking? Wow, that's so good. Okay. Yeah, it's real good against them. Now their idline is kind of awkward. I'm just going to cast this force, hard cast it.
Skewer, sure. And I'll ha happily block the uh, Swift Spear. Oh, they're going ham. Okay. I'll double block here. If they cast a spell, I can just purge and uh, path to exile. Helix. I can also just take the Swiss Spear. I can purge Eidolon and steal. Yeah, I think I might go for that. Although I think I'd rather path because this deck can play Blood Moon in the sideboard and I would rather have Celestial Purge for that. Yeah, I'm going to path instead. And I don't know how likely it is that they're running that card, right? But All right. Eidolon. Oh, they were full. Okay. Wow, Spell Center was such a good draw. Oh, no. No, I don't want to die like this. Please. This is a close one. Okay. I just have to make a 3 3 here. Oh, not even, huh? I just have to make a two, 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 three, four, five. Yeah. All right. Am I dead? Oh, man. Oh, that feels so good. Oh, Jesus Christ. That was the very last one. Holy shit. My my hands are... I feel like I end a lot of the leagues that way. It's just... Jesus Christ. Well, this is what happens when we come back to blue-white control. Maybe I should just dream this all the time because I feel like I only ever... Uh, get leaks with this <laughs> jesus all right well let me see so is there anything i change um double supreme verdict it's our only form of uh removal in this matchup so our board wipes i really like the condemn that we added uh there was another deck playing oust 
Um, or the Oscar Franco's list was playing Oust. I really like Condemn. Um, Castle Ardenvale and Castle Vantress as opposed to Celestial Colonnade. I'm not sure if it's better or worse. Um, I feel like Colonnade's a little bit too slow. And definitely having Castle Vantress as an option to scry uh, can help you out in the control matchups. Although I didn't really play against them today. Uh, another th weird thing. Is there anything else? I feel like a lot of the lists run two Teferis. We only run uh, one in this one, but I think it was fine for the most part. Um, I think the original list was also playing three Cryptic Commands. I'm not a fan of Cryptic Command at the moment. The meta seems a little bit too fast. Vendillion Click was also... It was hit or miss. Um, it was played a lot in the old blue-white list. Um, I might want to cut back on the third Celestial Purge in here for something else. Um, I'm not really sure. I think that's very much a, a flex slot, but I like the Dovin's Vetoes. I liked uh, Aether Gust. Rest in Pieces haven't come up against many decks. Um, so I may want the Celestial Purge to be a third Aether Gust. I feel like it was more relevant as that than anything else. Um, I really like the triple Archmage's Charms. We seem to draw them whenever we wanted them. Or whenever we uh, most needed them. Double Shark Typhoon. I don't know if you can afford to play four. I know... Um, whose list was it? Was running four of them. And I feel like they just get cycled for zero. Um, not all the time, obviously. But a good amount of the time... Uh, I really like the double spell snares. Double spell snare in the uh, that matchup right there was mwah, was great. Uh, I like the triple forest. Triple forest is really cool. The fairy time reveler. Um, it wasn't very relevant this matchup, although it was relevant in the spirits matchup that we played against. Um, for them not to flash in their things, but. In the end, it didn't matter because they ended up whooping our ass. Um, so I don't know if there's another card we can be playing too. And Teferi Time Reveler is very good uh, in, in its uh, matchups. But I think just the way it worked out today was not super great. I guess it kind of worked against uh, the Heliod combo deck as well. I feel like this deck wants maybe another sort of form of removal. Uh, I don't know if I touched up on the Timely Reinforcements main deck. I uh, really like that. Like, uh, I believe Aspiring Spike was also saying this is a very Monastery Swift Spear heavy meta. Uh, there's a lot of Death Shadows running around. There's a lot of aggressive matchups. There's the Sprite Dragon decks. There, there's a lot of aggro currently. So having a main deck Timely Reinforcements, I think, saved us a good number of games. Um, I believe it definitely won us that last match with Burn. Um, just being able to play timely reinforcements is pretty backbreaking for them sometimes. Um, we also have the other ones in the sideboard, but I don't know. I condemn, I think, was a very good choice. I think if you're playing blue white, condemn is definitely something to consider. The double spell, spell snare main. Um, is there anything I would change to the list? I maybe try. Logic Knot, instead of one of the mana leaks, uh, there is a point where you start just not doing anything with them. Um, other than that, you can change the click to something else. You can also play Brazen Borrower or another Snap, possibly. But being able to add a clock with Vanillion Click is also pretty cool. Um, it also works against Tron if you're playing against it. We were playing four Field of Runes as well against it, against uh, matchups with uh, fast mana. So I think. Overall, I really like this deck list. Um, it was definitely a matchup where we just done goofed. But if you guys like what you see, you can go ahead and comment down below to tell me what you want to see in certain lists, or if you want to see another blue-white list. I might try to run Esper next time. Um, I know Harry MTG was running. But uh, yeah, if you like what you see, like and subscribe. Um, I'll try to post a video up every week, um, but no promises. I'm just trying to stay a little more consistent. I think I tried to do three the other week, but it just didn't work out. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.